All right, race seven, uh, the Kari Aboriginal Resource Handicap over 1,400 metres. Yep. We've got a market there. We have. Um, Fibrillation's $18. Darcy B. Goods, 10 out to 15. River De Lago, $6. Bellows, seven fifty out to 9. Hoy Lonnie, solid at 8 50. The money's come for Soldad. He's seven to five. Uh, Three fifty to four. Aeronautical, and a little bit of money around for number one gun. Nine into eight fifty. You're on the odds. What do you reckon? Am I? I yeah. thought I was on the Evans. We've lost track here. I'll go odds in. That's fine. No, um, well, I'm on the Evans because you did the first. I did the second. All oh, right. So okay. that means I did the last. Right. Okay. <laughs> Losing track of time here. Number one gun for me. Uh, Look, step up in grade, no doubt. I just think this is one of those types of horses that uh, gets better with <coughs> each run in every prep. Um, he's won on wet tracks before. Uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to end up here with on Saturday. But you um, can see him rolling along on top of the speed. There's a few of these that are sort of... Uh, will get back and run on. He can, has the option of controlling the race. And I think it's uh, a nice little race for him. I just, my only concern with him is... Just how much that run last week took out of him because he got hammered in front. Oh, without doubt. They yeah. attacked and um, seven day back up. But look, I am an Arden, I'm am an Arden, I'm am an Arden. 58 and a half after the claims, probably going to be my undoing here. But just if it does rain um, and we end up with a slower or, and or a heavy track, I yeah. think fibrillation. Yeah. Stop it. What am I doing? Stop it. Um, I think fibrillation comes right into it. Yeah. She goes good fresh. Last couple of preps, she's run really well fresh. She's great and slow. She's great and heavy. And, you know, she's got 16 and a half kilos because this is a horse that only finished 3.2 behind him in an Eagle Farm Cup, 3.5 behind him in a Doomman Cup, beating a lip in, a, in an emancipation with 56 kilos, one and a pona. Uh, beat Cabernet in an aspiration quality first up over a mile last campaign. You know, she's mm. she is a genuine group horse. 58 and a half, she's an older man now, 1400 first up. Look, a couple of little queries, but at $18. It's a good price, isn't well, it? Well, it's the right price to, to go with a couple of queries. What are your thoughts on Darcy Be Good? Well, he's, he's so, I would have thought he carries a bit of residual fitness, but mm. early doors, they don't like him. He's, he's 10 out of 15. Uh, River De Lago, I think, is a genuine chance. Yep. Soldat's probably the other one, you know, the money's come for him. And Aeronautical, he, <clears throat> I reckon he went to another level last campaign, this prep. All of a sudden, he started producing at Rose Hill yep. rather than just Randwick. Yep. Um, yeah, I respect him, but at $4, get back horse. I want to see him first. Especially if it's a bit wet at Rose Hill. Yeah, yeah I just, yeah, 1400 first up for him. To me, he's not ideal, but... Yeah. yeah, I'm not the trainer, so what do I know? Cool. All right. Race 8, uh, the starstable.com.au, which we think kicks off on March 2. Does it? Anyone who's keen to get involved. It's 1,200 metres. The whole thing is, half the horses that are carnival horses aren't even in the bloody thing. Mm. Yeah. Look, Whoever organises it, they do a half-hearted job. Well, look, you're best off taking half your stable of golden slipper winners because they pay down to whatever they pay down to and there's a lot of prize money for the fourth or fifth. I think it's a great concept, great idea, it's mm. good, but some of the horses in it, like they've got horses in it that have been in the paddock for six months. Yeah. And drunken sailors in it. Is Where's it? Drunken Sailor? <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, they've got it, mind you, he's probably in markets, is he, for possibly for races as well? I don't know. But there are horses that will come up and be ready and they'll, they, they won't yeah. get chucked in it until the last minute. Anyway. Um, let's go. What do we got? Market. <clears throat> Irish jig, thirteen dollars. Under the sun, three seventy to four twenty. Australian star fifteen. Seven dollars territory up from five fifty. High on believing eight dollars. Up shot eight dollars. And down the bottom, War Chance had a little bit of support, six dollars into five fifty. I think War Chance coming out, she's running at uh, Flemington. Right. On Saturday. So well, hold fire until it's scratched. Yeah, look, I've gone with Under the Sun. Um, I've had a bit of luck with these colours in the last race at Rose Hill before, courtesy of Western Symbol. Um, I keep trying to find something to beat him in this race. There's a couple there that might be able to do it, but he's a pretty good horse. He's got some good form lines with him through Mahasara and Keith's Legacy and Merlin Mustang, who I think would pretty much handle this type of field. So I don't think the four bucks is too bad a price either. Well, I'm with Upshot. Uh, first up for Joe Pride. He's 
Horse I got a bit of time for. Um, had a little bit of luck with him last campaign. He, he's now won four of nine. He's a horse that I think, he's one of those horses that sort of, you know, just working through the grades, I think can take a big leap at some point. I'm yep. hoping it's this autumn. Uh, Joe Pride did comment on one or two occasions there during that last campaign, he does think he's a stakes horse of the future. If he can, if he's made that progression, and I liked his trial, but if he's made that progression into this campaign, well, 54 and a half kilos from a really soft draw, or sorry, 55 kilos from a really soft draw, um, tracks my only query, but other than that, if it stays dry enough, yep. I think he's got a really good hope. And he's the right price to have something on each way. So, um, up shot first up for me. Any thoughts on the Gister? No, first should I? Beat, I don't know, just beaten by Golden Sunshine. She looks like a pretty handy filly and mm -hmm. he'll be up on the pace as well. Actually, looks to be a bit of pace in the race with Kim, is it Kiminata? Yeah, not one of mine, a Gister. Yeah. Okay. Not one of mine. Territory, ran well first up, ran pretty good second up, comes back in grey from a listed race. Yeah. Might be, might be something there as well. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. possibly. Good? Possibly. I'm good. I've found mine. What are you tipping? Uh, I'm tipping under, under the, the sun. sun. So you took control in the last race as well. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, didn't I? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can uh, it right today. Monsolet's one I'll be interested to watch. Can perform well. Fresh. Didn't do a bad job last campaign. Uh, he's a Savabur. He should get through the ground. Yeah, I, the, the two, you know, the duck eggs alongside the heavy track runs, I think you'll find there might be a bit more to those. Yeah. If you go through the form properly. So, you know, it could be one at $13, but I, I wouldn't want to be charging in a short odds on the last myself. Best bets, dude. Are we on overreach is the best bet of the day? Overreach is the good thing of the day. Mm. Um, she'll win. Uh, and I reckon the next start you'll look back and say, well, geez, 240 wasn't a bad price in that race because she should be a lot shorter next time I'm tipping. And provided it stays dry enough, uh, upshot on an each way basis in the last. Okay. I'll but the weather's going to be the key there. So that's race eight, number 13. 13. All right. I'm Ichihara in the sixth, is my each way bet. I'm yeah. with you on overreach. So. Okay. We're back next week with the track work videos, possibly. Uh, yep, yep, track week videos, everything's starting to get back to normal around here, so, yes.